Welcome to UC Today with me, David Dungay. Today we have a fantastic conversation between two partners. I have Marcel from Salgari and Paul from Audio Codes. Welcome to the show, chaps. How are you both? Very good. Thank you very good, much. Good to see you. Fantastic. Well, today we're going to be talking about this relationship and what kind of differentiation you're bringing to market together. Um, let's do a few introductions first. Uh, Paul, should we start with you? Do you want to give us a bit of an intro to yourself and Audio Codes? Yeah, thank you very much, David. So I'm Paul Marshall from Audio Codes. I am the uh, well, one of the street strategic partner managers within Audio Codes. So essentially, my role is to uh, look after our business partners, make sure they're getting the best out of Audio Codes, and obviously making sure that uh, you know we're delivering for our customers or for our end customers and for our um, for our partners. Fantastic. And Marcel, tell us about yourself in Solgari. Thanks, David. Marcel McCann is my name. I'm the CTO at Solgari. I've been here for 18, 19 months at this stage. And uh, we've got a very good relationship going with uh, with audio codes. So it's a pleasure to speak about that today. Great. Well, let, let's get into that relationship then uh, while, we're, while we're talking to you, Marcel. Let's Tell me, what sparked this initial, initial relationship um, and how is this relationship enabling Solgari to, to really flourish in, within this market? Well, first of all, maybe uh, just to mention about Solgari itself. Solgari provides a fully integrated all-channel uh, contact centre. And uh, we had developed a uh, fully integrated into uh, Dynamics CRM and Salesforce and we had a plan then to integrate into Microsoft Teams in Microsoft Teams in order to provide the, uh, the direct routing capability. Uh, we needed to install what's called a session border controller. And we needed to uh, identify someone who was already certified by Microsoft. We contacted a number of suppliers or potential suppliers, and we ended up with audio codes. Uh, reason primarily being audio codes were very quick to respond to us. Um, they understood what our use case was and they showed a willingness to work with us as a partner, which was very important to us at that time. Fantastic. Marcel, maybe you could um, just cover that use case again a little bit. You know, what were you trying to achieve um, specifically uh, with, with audio codes? So the, uh, the Teams application, we had a vision to develop a Teams application with all channel. So WeChat, Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, SMS. And in order to do that, uh, we want to give our clients a flexibility that they could use our carrier, their own carrier, or Microsoft's direct routing. And to do that, we had to have a session border controller that was certified by Microsoft. So that was kind of the starting point. And uh, we sent numerous emails out to various parties uh, to identify someone that we could work with in order to deliver that to our clients. Fantastic, Paul. Maybe you could talk about from the audio code side, and uh, you know how you were able to you know leverage the, the portfolio to really help Solgari achieve this. Yeah, so certainly in terms of kind of uh, audio codes, look, I mean, we've been uh, a voice specialist for, for over 30 years now. So actually, our heritage, I guess, really, and our pedigree kind of really kind of helps in understanding, you know, where customers need to go on that uh, on that voice journey. I mean, obviously, through there's been a number of iterations throughout those 30 years. Um, and I think really in terms of uh, audio codes perspective, we really sort of pinned our flag um to, to the mast on on and in and around Microsoft, uh, actually, funny enough, just before the pandemic hit, actually, and to be fair, actually, that that's I think that's led to some really good, um, really good ground in terms of kind of being able to deliver customer solutions. I think we've been we we'll are dealing with uh, Solgari now for just a touch uh, under a year in terms of actually kind of getting a um, you know really kind of having a real proper deep dive and working out what the best solution is for, for both parties moving forward. And actually it's not just limited to necessarily the SBC. Um, you know, I think there, there are other kind of um, work streams that we are looking at with, with Solgari specifically around being able to enhance that portfolio for their end customers as well. 
So that includes things like um, like handsets, call record, and all that kind of good stuff as well, really. So I, I think, and certainly in terms of the relationship, the relationship is, is, is working really well. We work very closely hand in hand with, with, with our partners, particularly Solgari, but we do work um, hand in hand with all of our partners, actually. And we're, we're very, very pleased to be able to help Solgari in their success. Great. Um, so, Marcel, I wanted to pick up on a, a couple of key words you said in your introduction. They, they were flexibility and scalability. Now, these, these have been key, uh, key areas for Solgari. Um, maybe you could talk about how this relationship has really impacted that part of your value proposition. Well, if I take the, uh, the flexibility part, first of all, David, a very good example of how audio codes have been flexible with us. When we initially started the relationship, as I mentioned earlier, it was all around the, the Teams integration. But in fact, our very first uh, live implementation had nothing whatsoever to do with the Teams application. Uh, our, one of our clients had a specific uh, problem to be solved. And working with uh, audio codes, we were able to deliver on that. Um, and as I say, absolutely nothing to do with the, with the original uh, request. Um, so that showed the flexibility that audio codes have working with us, which is ideal as a partner. In terms of scalability, um, because we've now launched our Teams app, we're getting more and more uh, RFPs from the market, uh, moving more into the enterprise space. And we know um, and have proven actually with the audio codes environment that we can scale to the enterprise level. Fantastic. Maybe you could um, just give us a bit more context around the Microsoft Teams app that you've uh, managed to produce and give us some of the, the, um, the key features of that and uh, you know, why that's exciting for the market. Well, I suppose the, uh, the, the first big thing is that it's a, it's a native app within the Teams environment. So that's crucial to the, uh, to the Teams users. I mean, the, the, the total market is there's 350 million uh, teams users worldwide, so that's a market really worth going after. And we can integrate with all the channels in behind that. So when you're operating from within Teams using the Solgari application, you don't have to leave the app, you stay within Teams, and you can have all of the communication to your end clients. So our clients, end clients, can communicate to their contact center through the various channels. Yeah. Um, it's probably about 15 months ago we had the, uh, the vision to do that. And uh, it's only in the last two months, two and a half months, that we've actually launched that product to the market. And the, the reception has been tremendous so far. Great. We were talking off screen before this, uh, this conversation. And, uh, you know, that's obviously causing a, 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 bit, a pain point for yourselves, but a great pain point to have, which is great. Um, Paul, I want to come to you and just talk about um, customer experience now. Obviously, Teams feeding into the contact center. We've seen it's, it's become incredibly popular. Um, you know, has, has CX now become that top success factor in the boardroom from, from your perspective? And, and what, what are um, the senior execs concerned about when it comes to making customer experience work within this Microsoft kind of ecosystem? Yeah, look, I mean, I mean, every customer is slightly different, right? So, but but I think customer experience is is has been probably the number one topic from my conversations with end customers for quite some time now. Really, look, if you're not getting the customer experience right, then people are, have got a tendency to walk. Okay, so they can get services from other people. Um, you're potentially losing that customer as well, really. So therefore, that customer experience journey is 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 vital to the success of that business. Um, in terms of kind of actually helping deliver that, really, I like what uh, Solgari do because of the speed to market. So they they can essentially get a platform um, up and running with 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 a fraction of the time as some of the other kind of uh, operators out there, really. And I think in terms of what audio codes can provide, really, so audio codes can provide the the nuts and bolts, if you like, really, or the toolkit to enable that to happen as well. So we can um, very easily, very quickly. Uh, connect into uh, a Teams environment, a legacy PBX environment, um, uh, CRMs, voice, say, um, sorry, chatbots, that kind of good stuff as well, really. And all of that plugs into that customer experience. So 
also kind of looking at things like uh, web ITC, where essentially, um, you know, where, where a customer, for example, could be filling out a form online, but actually might get stuck on a certain part. But actually, all you can do is just escalate that straight to a voice call or a team call, Teams call, and you've got that you've got that customer. You retain that customer, and that's that's a massive uh, thing within the boardroom, really, in terms of discussions for customer experience. Yeah, M- Marcel. I mean, what are, what are you seeing from that side of things? Uh, what are those senior execs, you know, concerned about from your side? And maybe you could talk to that, you know, why that speed to value is so significant for you right now. I think the um, there's a realization now that that anyone uh, within a company who has interaction with a with a customer that the customer experience is important. It's not just from the contact center, so that's that's very very important. Uh, secondly, uh, in terms of speed to value, we believe at Solgari that we are delivering on the promise of the cloud. And what I mean by that is um, it's no longer implementation projects. It's about configuration. So the implementation is done, it's in the cloud. So new clients, it's all about configuration as opposed to new implementation. And that's why you know, we, we don't have uh, long projects. We deliver, uh, to set up a new instance on Azure, for example, we're fully cloud-based on Azure. We can get a new instance uh, set up within uh, 90 minutes. The full configuration can be done within three days and you go live on day four. So you're not looking at weeks and months and years of projects. You're talking about days. And that's all been, we have a a very well uh, tried and proven methodology that can deliver that. Uh, And and the same applies, it's not just the Sulgari app, but the the audio codes piece as part of our application. That's around configuration as well. So there's no implementation. It's all in the cloud. It's about configuration. Wow, that's um, you know, that's like super speedy t- time to delivery there. I mean, Marcel. I mean, in terms of like, we we see some really complex environments you now in in some businesses. You know, how how does that work with with your methodology? Uh, you know, you're still able to achieve those kind of delivery times, even with you know perhaps some slightly more complex um, environments to work with. Yeah, I mean, certainly we can have uh, we can be up and running within days with with the core contact center. Obviously, if you want to do some integration into things like payments, et cetera, that takes a little bit longer. But again, you know, we're, we're talking a couple of weeks from start to finish. Um, so typically what happens is the sales guys get involved with the, with the prospect. While they're negotiating the contract, we are doing the configuration in the background. Contract gets signed, and then we get the, uh, the user names configured into the system, and you're ready to go live. Wow. And you know that that's a differentiator for us with our competitors. Yeah, maybe, maybe Paul, you could talk to some of that differentiation as well. You know, it's um that is some incredible speed to to deliver some delivery times there. Um, you know, what what does that mean from the the audio code side of things? Yeah, so so I think for us, our key differentiation um, is is based around you know product set, our integration into Teams, our heritage with, uh, with 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 Teams and and OCS and Skype for Business before that as well, right? So you know that heritage has been there for 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 a number of years, really. I think from my from our perspective, there isn't a single vendor in the marketplace that can provide as much of a service wrap around uh, Teams as, as as we do. If we're just taking Teams specifically. Um, and then essentially that helps our customers with, if they're on that kind of team's journey anyway, which obviously most of them kind of are in one shape or form. Um, you know, there isn't a single vendor out there that could come to a single person and actually say, right, we want X, Y, and Z, and an audio coast can provide all of those aspects to that, really. Um, you know, and that really kind of plugs into kind of uh, Solgari's vision with their, with their end customers as well. Great. Well, look, um, chaps, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. But I'd like to thank you both for coming on and sharing so much insight around this relationship and why you're bringing um, so much great differentiation to the Microsoft Teams market. Thank you very much. Thanks, David. And thank you for watching and watching me, David Dungate, on UC Today. If you like today's conversation, please give us a like and a share on social media. That's it from now. See you next time.